All right, we're back in the version 4.3 beta, version 2. Maybe I should go with phase 2. Yeah, but anyway, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen the amazing and devastating power of Rosalia's augmented battle suit, Fervent Tempo Delta, in the first phase. And as just about everyone expected, she is getting some adjustments. So we're going to look through all the changes they did, and uh, I know some people always like to say nerf, but to me, like, when a battle suit or piece of equipment is not yet live, you can't say it's a nerf. You know, if it's live and they do some tweaks to, like, turn it down, yeah, that's a nerf, but none of these are actually live, so it's not nerfing, it's just adjusting. Anyway, she is still amazing and devastatingly powerful, but of course, Let's look at the adjustments. First off, leader skill is back to normal. If you remember, they added 16% additional shield damage, but it's no longer there. This is actually a good move because first off, that would be way too OP as a standalone leader skill. Second of all, no other augments got their leader skills, well, augmented. So maybe they just wanted to try something new, but it wasn't working out because it's way too crazy. So they just put it back to normal, but it's still a strong leader skill. Alright, next. Passive bar amounts have been tweaked. Previously, we had 800 per bar, with a max value of 1600 because she has two bars, and then you get another 1600 when you enter Frenzy with the charge attack. Now it's been changed to 1200 per bar, and 2400, of course, when you have both bars max. Same thing, you do also get 2400 when you enter Frenzy. Now, the previous depletion rate was 50 per 0.2 seconds, now with the added capacity, it's 75 per 0.2 seconds. So before, it would take 9.6 seconds to deplete the entire bar, but now it'll take 12.8 seconds. What about charging then? Well, evasions now grant 200 instead of 100. Ultimate evasions get 400 instead of 300. Pink. Bar. Energy. Whatever it's called. Um, basic attacks get adjusted also to 150 instead of the previous 100. So overall, her unique passive charges faster, depletion is slower, so it's not bad. However, you know, one thing to note is that you hardly ever use the charge attack, but we'll go more into that later. Now onto the basic attacks, which do see a bit of a drop. First sequence, no change. Second sequence gets dropped from 80% plus 80% to 70% plus 70%. Third sequence, no change. 4th sequence, previously 200, now 180%. 5th sequence, dropped from 480 to 280%. Yikes. And the final sequence dropped from 430 to 300%. And I know, it looks bad on paper, but she's still doing fine. I'll show you guys a run later, but for now, let's go through the rest of the stuff. Alright, so onto the ultimate skills passives. 15% critical rate, 15% physical damage for 9 seconds after using an ultimate. It was previously 20% physical damage. Um, triple S skill, perfect counter, gains 30% critical rate and 20% critical damage. Previously, this one was 20%, so we get an increase. Alright, the next set of numbers might be a little scary, but just hang in there. Charge attack. When both gauges are filled, hold the attack button and deal 1,200% of attack in physical damage and enter Frenzy. Well, that number has now been changed to 400%. The three phases also get a drop from 300, 300, 600 to 240, 240, 560. Honestly, I'm not concerned about this because throughout the entire version 1, except for that one time I used it just to show people, also because I wanted to see it, I've practically never used the charge attack at all. That's also why Kafka is not recommended, because you rarely ever get to use a charge attack. And last of all, not confirmed, but in the patch notes, they will be removing the 25 SP refund on Perfect Counter, but as of now, it's still up there, so we'll see how it goes in Phase 3. Alright, we're done with that, now we're on to the equipment. On her weapon, passive has been changed from 20% total damage to 15% critical rate. 30% defense increase in frenzy mode has also been switched to lowering incoming total damage by 30%. And then we move on to the sticks because nothing else was changed on the weapon. Charles Dickens, which now has Stigmata art, looking really good. Anyway, HP recovery dropped from 80 to 40 on the T-Stick. 
So how this set works, each part is able to accumulate up to 5 charges, and uh, you get one charge when you do an attack. So once you have 5 stacks, that's the maximum, and when you do an ultimate attack, you don't have to be at 5 stacks by the way, but when you do an ultimate attack, any stacks you have will be consumed. And so that healing from 80 is now at 40 per stack. Damage on the stick is still the same. Now on the M stick, physical damage increase was 25%, it's now 30%. Additional damage from each stack is also increased from 100 to 125%. And on the B part, 20% passive total damage increase is now 25%. Every stack recovers 1 SP, uh, which sees no change, but I just thought I'd mention it. Then we get to the 2 set ability, which kinda gets a revamp. So previously an innate 10% physical damage, now a 15% physical damage increase, but only to basic and charge attacks. And finally, the 3 set ability. Before, we get an innate 20% total damage reduction of incoming attacks, and increased resistance to interruption after an ultimate. Now, the total damage reduction is only after an ultimate, same with the resistance to interruption, but from 20%, it's been increased to 30%. It's a defensive skill, it's really inconsequential, but you know, that's the minor tweaking they're doing. Additionally, new passive. When used on Rosalia and Lilia, the 5 stacks that we get per piece is bumped up to 8 stacks instead. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, so we're done with Fervent Tempo, now we move on. Key of Reasons PRI gets a bit of a weird tweak. Um, its base attack has dropped from 420 in the first phase to now 393, but they raise its CRT from 20 to 43. Huh. It's not like we have elemental critical or anything, but okay. Active skill damage dropped from 700 to 600% per hit. Analyze effect duration now drops from 9 seconds to 7 seconds. And recovery of bars is now 1.5 over 4 seconds instead of the previous 3 bars. Honestly, that was a bit too OP, so yeah, it's okay. Oh, there's a major buff. Passive ice damage increased from 30% to 40%. Not bad. Everything else on the weapon, still the same. And the last set of tweaks, Tesla Zero. Previously the skill passive that I didn't really get while reading, uh, doesn't matter anymore apparently, but in phase 1, there's this condition that said if the team has a battle suit with a burst mode, the whole team gets a 2% physical damage increase. Now, innate 3% physical damage increase. Aw yeah. And if the whole team is of the same type, you know, like Bio, <clears throat> Night Squire, the team gets yet another 2% physical damage increase. 3 star ability, previously from heavy attack types, now to fast attack types, <clears throat> Night Squire again, team gains a 4% physical damage increase, previously 5%. 4 star ability, previously fast attack type, now burst mode type, instead. Also 4%, previously 5%. Okay, this one is a 3-star skill again. Um, last part of her ultimate would cause enemies to take 10% additional physical damage. Now that 10% has dropped to 6%. I imagine people who don't want to get the S rank elf might be happy about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're done here. And um, so let me end the video with a fervent tempo run. And you guys decide if she's been nerfed or not. I mean, I don't think nerf is a term, but if you want to use that, go ahead. Till next time, this has been MG, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.